guys, and this is my group for my second speech. And I will begin. Who knew that feuding hillbillies from West Virginia and Kentucky would still, in the late 1800s, would still be an infamous topic of discussion today? I didn't realize how epic this family feud really was until I started off-road riding three years ago on the Hatfield-McCoy Trails located in the southeastern part of West Virginia. After visiting the Hatfield Cemetery located in Gilbert, West Virginia, and the Hatfield-McCoy Museum in Maitwan, Kentucky, I'm still left wondering why this epic battle began in the first place. Hence, I would like to offer you three reasons why this Appalachian feud began and lasted 12 years and took 12 lives. Some say that the Hatfields, or some say that the that Floyd Hatfield stole a hulk from Randall McCoy, while others say that, or others claim that Devil Ants Hatfield was unlawfully logging on Perry Klein's territory, while some believe that an out of wedlock pregnancy between two star crossed lovers, the rebellious boy John C. Hatfield and the sweet and innocent uh, girl, Rosanna McCoy, fueled this feud. To begin, I would like to tell you about the first reason which started this war. The first reason which started this war was over a theft of a hawk. Randall McCoy claimed that Floyd Hatfield stole one of his hawks. In her article entitled Hatfield and McCoy Feud, Altina L. Waller, an associate history professor, uh, states that in the fall of 1878, Randall McCoy took his uh, case to the courtroom saying that Floyd Hatfield stole one of his hogs. In these times, a theft of a hog was a major crime because of the high economic value placed on these hogs. And in the courtroom, there was a jury of six Hatfields and six McCoys. So that was easy. <coughs> um, all six Hatfields and one of the McCoys, who worked for Devil Ants Hatfield, ended up ruling in favor of Floyd Hatfield, and he ended up winning the case. Two Later, two of the McCoy jurors ended up tracking down the Hatfield witness and shooting and killing him because they felt that it was unfair. So now that you know a little bit about the hog story, now I'd like to tell you about the second reason which started this feud. The second reason which started this feud was over land rights. Perry Klein thought that Devil Ants Hatfield was unlawfully logging on his territory in Kentucky. And according to the Hatfield and McCoy moonshine history, uh, Devil Ants was involved in a dispute, and I'll pass this around so you guys can see the, po the poster. Devil Ants was involved in a land dispute <coughs> and uh, with, with Randall, Randall McCoy's cousin, Perry Klein. Devil Ants ended up winning this dispute and ended up getting all 5,000 acres from Perry Klein. Well, the McCoys felt that the courtroom was Hatfield friendly because of uh, Devil Ants' political party. Ironically, the judge of the town was Devil Ants' cousin. And the loss of this property angered Perry Klein to, to persuade Randall McCoy to hire bounty hunters to go after the Hatfields after they killed his third son. And from this point on, there has been bloodshed and feuding between the two families. So now that you know a little bit about the logging issue, now I will tell you about the third reason which started this feud. The third and most personal reason which started this feud was over an unplanned pregnancy between the two families. And according to Shirley Donnelly's article in the Beckley Post Herald, the McCoys hated the Hatfields because of this, this fling between the two families. So, a handsome, rebellious boy, John C. Hatfield, secretly courted the eldest daughter of the McCoys, who was Rosanna, one son. And this heated encounter ended up in an out-of-wedlock pregnancy between the two families. So, as you can see, any of these three reasons could have started this feud. Or, it could have been a combination of the three reasons which fueled this war. The family feud could have been triggered by the theft of a hog. Or it could have been the, that Devil Ants Hatfield was unlawfully logging on Perry Klein's territory. Or it could
should have been the out of wedlock pregnancy between John C. and Rosanna that was the straw that broke the camel's back. These feuding hillbillies made it all the way to Hollywood in this DVD here, where their story has been, and I'll pass this DVD around, where their story has been taken multiple ways and and uh, and and each of the shows have their own view on how the feud began. Maybe we will never know the true reasons why this war began, and possibly it's the rumors that make this story so exciting, and one that will be shared from generation to generation. Thank you for your time, guys.